Hi, I'm Ross Nichols, I'm the ADCC European Champion and I'm going to show you some passes from uh, the headquarters position um, leading into front headlock. So, so our opponent's on his back. We're going to start with C grips on our opponent's knees. Now, we're going to win inside leg position. It's important here that I'm not standing too close to him, He'll, it's a lot easier for him to get underneath us. So here I want to be trying to make my body as much of a right angle as possible. This is like the perfect uh, distance for our legs to be away. So this means that if he does start reaching to get guards, his knees part from his chest, which makes it easier for me to collapse his knees and pass. If I'm too close, he doesn't have to part his knees and he's still got really good uh, control over his hips and his legs. So, butt away, hip. Now we're going to step in. So, step in and we're looking to catch behind the back of his knee and turn his hips. It's not so much about sitting down on this leg. Our control primarily comes from the depth of this step. So if I stepped here, he's still got a lot of control over his hips and he can start setting up guards. Whereas if I step deep and turn his hips, now he, he's struggling to set up guards. So if you just hand me here, hands on the knees. What makes it a lot easier winning inside leg position is not doing it linear, uh, in a linear fashion. What we want to do is to like start the circle and then step in as he starts to defend the, the circle. So from here, we are going to dive for a guillotine off of this HQ position. Now you see, Nathan's naturally keeping his head up off the floor. If his back was flat like this, it's very easy to collapse his knees. So if his head's up and he's crumpling his body like this, it's a lot harder for me to collapse the knees and start passing. But this does give me an opportunity to attack his neck. So, because I'm stepping in with my right leg, I'll be using my right arm to attack the neck here for the diving guillotine. So, as I step in, left palm on the floor, hand wraps, and I want my head to end up under the armpit. I don't want to shoot too far away from him. So, step across, make sure this foot comes tight and close to your opponent's hip. When you step in, you don't want to leave this open for an underhook. You want to back again. So if you step, make sure this foot is hidden behind this hip. So the diving guillotine from here, we wrap, hand on the floor, head under the armpit. And now here, as I finish the roll, the hand that was basing on the floor catches this tricep and pulls it past your hip. Now from here, it's got a collection of options. He could just stay here. If he decides to stay here, we will get up before him or finish an anaconda. So we've got a collection of attacks here, which are gonna be shown in another DVD that this move is promoting. So check that out. But this is our entry to the front headlock control off of HQ. So in real time, I'm walking, I'm stepping in, and there's us moving to front headlock. Do you see I'm not jumping, I'm rolling into it. I step across. You can put this hand on the floor if you like. Hand on the floor, wrap, and we're looking to catch the chin. Don't look to get control before you initiate the roll. Hands coming over, initiate the roll at this point. Make sure you catch this tricep here. Now we've got our chin strap control, and we can start working our front headlock and looking to attack the neck off of this. So that's how I dive for the front.
front headlock come off of step and into headquarters. To wrap the neck and the chin and think of it as a forward roll. Another little tip, by the way, before we start this. Um, when you're right, rolling and diving for submissions from top position, you don't want to like jump into it. You see, what I'm doing before I roll is I'm raising my butt up as high as possible before I actually roll. So now, I fall into it. There is no jump with this technique. I am raising my butt and it's a forward roll. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one and uh, yeah, check out the DVD.